Red Overtone Serpent Kin 5 November 4, 2013 Red Overtone Serpent The tone is overtone Tone 5 It follows tone 4, self-existing which brings form into nature into our body Overtone 5 gathers the still point. It allows us to come into our center. And once we're in our center, then we can radiate that form. Hey, Koshka. Tone 5 enlivens tone 4. It enlivens the form of our lives, the seeds that we've planted, that which is at our heart's desire. Today we have the ability to find the center place within and then radiate and share with others out. It calls out that still point within us and our center of gravity, our breath. And it allows us then to be in self-love, in our stillness and in our authenticity. It also provokes us to attune to our truth and to radiate that knowing. It's like, I think of, in nature, um, the rose family is characterized by five five petals or um, five seeds that creates that star. And when we look at it, be careful, careful, careful. And when we look at it within a flower, for example, that has five petals, there's the center. So the petals on the flower are able to move and entice the bee along to pollinate it, if you will, because it's centered, it has a solid foundation it has its form, its still point, and from there, the petals. So today, we move into that still point that then allows the petals to blossom, its fragrance to be shared, our fragrance to be shared. The solar tribe today is Red Serpent. Red Serpent is our primal nature. It's our life force and our vitality. Today, we are asked to attune to our primal nature, our bodies, to move and to dance, to find that essence of serpent quality within us. It represents our instincts and our sensuality, how we feel and move. Today, let us remember together that our body, this human vessel that we have, holds incredible opportunity and potential. And so let's nourish and nurture our bodies today for the simple act, the simple knowing that it that it is that it is our vessel that holds incredible opportunity. Our serpent bodies are gateways. They're gateways beyond the body, allowing us to access greater wholeness. The serpent energy is within us, referred to as kundalini energy, that which resides at the base of the spine and moves progressively upward, awakening life force and creative powers. The serpent reminds us to merge our primal nature, our primal mind, the serpent mind with that of eagle mind, bridging the worlds between inner and outer so that we can see clearly all that surrounds us and understand its place. So today I share with you 
that hope that we can all recognize these beautiful bodies that we inhabit. Don't bite me, please. Um, there's a cat in my lap that just bit me. These incredible bodies that we have and to set aside any limitations that we feel we may have with them and really move past limitations, be boundless, start to move the body, incorporate dance into the day, and at the same time find the core, maybe engage the abdominal muscles, and squeeze the belly a little bit, and just allow that radiation to happen. Serpents are really amazing to watch. Snakes, you know, they're like one muscle, one organism, and they have such power and force, and they don't have bones in their body. I don't think. Maybe they do. Maybe they have like a, a solid spinal cord. So today, let's feel into our spine. Let's nourish ourselves through breath with our thoughts, with the food we eat, and become alive. Red Overtone Serpent says, I am power in order to survive, commanding instinct. I seal the store of life force with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of space.